Welcome to another edition of Horner Sunday Kitchen. Today we're going to be making creamy broccoli cheddar soup. All right, Wyatt wanted me to make it, and today's kind of gloomy and it's kind of comfort food. So we're expecting a tropical storm to come in, like we always are in Texas. But tropical storm beta is supposed to be hitting us um, in the next couple hours, probably the next couple of days. It's supposed to be about three days. So we need some comfort food, and broccoli cheddar soup is 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 almost as good as chicken noodle. So. This is going to be the easiest recipe for creamy broccoli cheddar soup you've ever had though. Heavy whipping cream, some salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, of course some cheddar, and two crowns of broccoli. Alright, we're going to get started here. You don't want to miss this episode. Stay tuned. What I'm doing right now is I'm heating up the water so we can steam the broccoli. I use fresh broccoli. Sometimes I use frozen, but today I'm using fresh because it's the end of summer and it's in season, so um, I just cut them and use the flowerettes on the top. You don't want to use the stock for broccoli cheddar soup, so you want to use the just use the the flowerettes on the top. So you're just going to cut them and just depending on how much soup you're going to make. I mean, I, I make I make a lot because we have eight people here, but you need to cut them into the small. We'll see the small pieces, okay? Each individual flowerette. And the smaller the better. So, and then throw these stalks. Just throw them, just throw them away. It's not, they're not for broccoli cheddar soup. So, I'm gonna do that. Just uh, just cut it around there. And that's why we use, we're using two, two crowns. They're not heads, they're crowns. So, they're not lettuce. So you, do, you can even just peel them off each one all right you want to be able to you know fit some some cream of cheddar and broccoli on a spoon so you don't want to break it up pretty small pretty small you can leave some chunks but I, I usually just no bigger no bigger than that right there no bigger than that so, then I'm gonna steam it I'm gonna steam it up real good and make a creamy, creamy soup with the cheddar in it, and it's going to be wonderful. So, and I don't add too much to it. I just add salt and pepper. I don't add. I mean, you can if you want to, but I, I just think it would ruin it if it, you know, for our family it does. So, I'm just showing you how to eat, make it easy: cream of broccoli soup, cream of broccoli cheddar soup. That's going to be great for the whole family. Okay, and it's gonna be the best you've ever tasted. It is. It's uh, it's life changing. So, just do that right there, and then throw that stock out, and then just break these up. You can break them up by hand. See, we already got that much. So, you might only use one head or one crown. I'm sorry, they're crowns. I've been informed that they're crowns. They're not heads. Not heads. All right. So, you break this up. You might use one and a half crowns. One and a half. Break this up into just small pieces. Okay. And that'll be really good. So and that'll that'll make probably probably two portions, eight portions, about a half gallon of soup. So that'll be good, really good. So let's uh let's get this steaming. Alright, while the while the broccoli is steaming slash boiling um the broccoli's got to be soft okay i don't i don't put it in al dente or I, and i don't put it in fresh in the soup because this is a cream soup and i don't want the cream soup to burn so what i did is put about a half a cup of half a cup of oil in here uh, olive oil and then i'm just going to pour this uh, heavy whipping cream in here the whole thing um, and stir it while it incorporates into the oil uh, this is going to make a, and once the once the heavy whipping cream heats up, it's going to it'll thicken up. So we'll just keep stirring it until the oil is all incorporated, and there it goes. And then just let it heat back up, and it's going to thicken up. So you want to stir it every once in a while, uh, so it doesn't burn to the bottom, because it is heavy whipping cream. So just stir it occasionally and 
we're gonna strain that broccoli really good once it's once it's uh, once you can touch it with your finger and 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 get through it, you know, just pinch it real good. Uh, that'll be perfect because it's gonna go into a hot soup. And then we're gonna put about two cups of cheddar cheese. And I already I bought it the pre shredded cheddar cheese because I I just. I, I'm just lazy, so that's what I do. So but we're gonna keep stirring this until it heats back up as the heavy whipping cream cooled it down. Then we're gonna strain the broccoli and add the cheese and salt and pepper, and then that's pretty much done. So we'll be back when it heats up. Okay, the broccoli has been strained. You want to strain the broccoli really good because it, it's still got some it's still got some liquid in it, and so it's going to thin out the soup. All right. Another thing is, if you want a thicker soup after you add the cheese, the cheese sauce, or the cheese to make the cheese sauce, um, all you have to do is add a add a little bit of of uh, some cornstarch. Add about a about a tea, tablespoon of a tablespoon of cornstarch to about a quarter cup of water. Stir it around there. Make sure it's cold water though, so it doesn't lump. And then add it into here. Um, but it's going to thicken up nice. It's going to thicken up nice once we add two cups of cheese to it. So I just add about a couple handfuls of it. As you can see, it's steaming right now, so that the, the cream is hot. So I'm going to add about probably about two about two handfuls of cheese. That's a scientific measurement, is a handful. So you need to look that up on the Google to see that. Then you stir this around, the cheese is gonna thicken it up too. So look at that, look at that. That's gonna be a nice color right there. So while it's melting, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some pepper. Some fresh ground pepper. All right, like that. Close the salt, add a little bit of salt. There we go. Hold on. Salt and pepper grinder. And then see that? Oh, that thickened up really nice. That is gonna be that is gonna be the best soup ever. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna dump the broccoli in there. You see that? That's gonna be wonderful now you don't want to whip it with this too much now because it, it will it will shred all the broccoli chunks okay so what you want to do is kind of fold now kind of just want to fold but you want to touch the bottom definitely want to touch the bottom of, of the pan so it doesn't burn but kind of just swirl it around a little bit and there you go and that is going to be the best cream of broccoli soup ever made in the history of cheddar broccoli soup. This is this is Wyatt's favorite right here. He's been requesting it for about a month. I told him once it once the weather cooled down, we could have it. So he's been wanting it to cool down. And this morning it was 66 when I got up and we stepped outside and it was cold. And then he got up and he said, oh, it's cold so you can make broccoli cheddar soup. And I was like, okay, fine. So I did it. It's good comfort food. So, and he loves it, yeah, which is, which is a plus. Keeping your grandkids happy is, is good. So, all right, we'll be back for the tasting. All right, I called the boys down there up there wrestling and playing video games for the tasting because Wyatt requested this. He loves it cream of broccoli cheddar soup. Okay, I, can't, I, I don't know why I can't get that now, but we're gonna try it right now. So let's give it a shot, give it a shot. Mmm, mm. broccoli's perfectly done. It's not It's not crisp, it's, mm. it's soft, but not too soft, not soggy. That's really good. And the cheese sauce is mm. awesome. That is good. That's really good, isn't it? Mm. It is, and this is, this is Wyatt's favorite, except for spaghetti. 
Spaghetti's his absolute favorite, but he loves he loves the cream of broccoli cheddar soup. Can so you he's gonna love it. Some salt? Yeah. You want some salt to it? Yeah, I'm gonna try. I don't know why. You, you just turn it. Just okay. turn it like that. I don't know. Go ahead and turn it. Okay. You know, hold that and then turn that. Turn the turn this part or that part. Yeah, and then it, see it's got salt in it. Now you stir the salt in. That's how that works. And that's the pepper. You all right? Yeah. That's how the pepper works too. You take the lid off here, Wait, and you just you crack it in there. Can we open? Go ahead. You want pepper in sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. You'll learn how to do that. You no, know, turn it, and you'll see it. See it coming out. All right. That's gonna be good stuff right there. All right. Well. You want salt? What do you think of it? Way? It's you the want, best ever, isn't it? Yes. In the invention of. Cream broccoli cheddar soup. But it's the best want, ever. Wait, so he wants some of this. No, he doesn't want any more. He doesn't want any more. Oh, yeah, so all right. So another successful edition of Horner Sunday Kitchen. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications. All right, so you can see another episode when it comes out. All right. And if you don't know how to do the post notifications, click that bell so you can be notified when we post another video. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next edition of Horn and Sunday Kitchen. And you should follow his instructions. These are really good. And very good. Very good. All right. Stay safe. Bye.